So in this video, I want to go through this example where we are given that C is cosine theta plus cosine three theta plus etc. up to cosine of two n minus one theta. And S is sine of theta plus sine of three theta plus etc. up to sine of two n minus one theta. And we need to show that C is minus cosine of 2n plus 1 theta plus cosine of 2n minus 1 theta over 2 take away 2 cosine 2 theta and s is 2 sine theta take away sine of 2n plus 1 theta plus sine of 2n minus 1 theta over 2 take away 2 cosine 2 theta. So that's what we need to show. It looks absolutely horrific but as we work through it uh, it doesn't actually it's not actually too bad uh, once you kind of get used to the rhythm of this type of question. We also have, of course, that cosine theta is one half of e i to the theta plus e to the minus i theta, and sine theta is one over two i e to the i theta take away e to the minus i theta. So the way that we start this question is using c plus i s. Okay, so what we will have is, and we, I'm going to write it in the order of grouping that C and S together. So we'll have cosine theta plus I times sine theta. So cosine theta plus I sine theta. And I'm going to pop it in a bracket just to put it as one term. Then we'll have cosine three theta plus I sine three theta. So cosine three theta plus I sine three theta plus etc. up to cosine of 2n minus 1 theta plus i sine of 2n minus 1 theta. And I'll pop it in a bracket. That's our final term, our nth term, in fact. OK. So from that, then, uh, what we can write down is that we can write that in exponential form where this is e to the i theta and this term here is e to the i 3 theta and then we'll have e to the i 5 theta, e to the i 7 theta, etc. Uh, up to this term here. So we'll have e to the i of 2n minus 1 times theta. Okay, so we've got a sum to n terms here. So this is a geometric series because each time I'm going to be multiplying. So to get from e to the i theta to e to the i 3 theta, I need to multiply by e to the i 2 theta. And that's what's happening each time. So we have a common ratio. We have a first term, e to the i theta, so we have a is e to the i theta, and we have a common ratio of e to the i 2 theta. And we have the sum to n terms. So we can use the formula for the sum to n terms, and that is a, and then 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. OK, so Substituting in our pieces, we're going to have e to the i theta times by 1 take away e to the i 2 theta, and that's to the n, over 1 minus e to the uh, i 2 theta. OK, so I can write this sum to n terms as e to the i theta times by 1 take away e to the i 2 theta n over 1 take away e to the i 2 theta. OK. Now, to move on from there, what I'm going to want to do is rationalise the denominator. So I need to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Now, that would be 1 take away. Now, remember, the sign of the complex part, of the imaginary part, has to change, rather. So that is just the power. So that's e to the minus i2 theta. 
Okay, so that's what I need to multiply top and bottom by. So what am I going to get? Well, I have um, the e to the i theta already there. Now I could probably bring that into the bracket first before I multiply that by that. That would probably be easier, so rather than doing it all in one go. So that's what I'll do. I'll bring the e to the i theta into that bracket. Then I'll have take away e to the i theta times minus e to the i 2 theta n. So I'm going to have the i theta then plus the i 2 theta n. Okay, so these indices are going to add together. So I could factorize that and have i theta and I'd have 1 plus 2n. Okay, or 2n plus 1. Okay, so makes sense to write that as 2n plus 1. So I will write that as e to the i 2n plus 1 times theta. And I'm multiplying that with the 1 take away e to the minus i 2 theta. And we've got 1 take away e to the i 2 theta times by 1 take away e to the minus i 2 theta. Okay, right, so let's expand that numerator next. I'm going to see if I can fit it in. So we've got e to the i theta times 1, so e to the i theta. We're going to have e to the i theta times by minus e to the minus i 2 theta. Okay, so... For this next term, I'm going to have i theta and then take away i 2 theta. So uh, essentially you've got 1 take away 2, right? So you've got minus i theta. So we'll have take away uh, e to the i theta, minus i theta rather. So that term times by that term. Then we're going to have this term times by 1, so take away e to the i 2n plus 1 theta. And then we're going to have this term times by this term. Okay, so let's add those indices. We've got i 2n plus 1 theta, and then we've got take away i times 2 theta. So if we factor the i and the theta out of both terms, we're going to have the 2n plus 1, and we're taking away 2. So this would be i theta times by 2n minus 1. So we're going to have that times that, so it would be a plus e to the i 2n minus 1 times theta. Okay. Don't be afraid to have, you know, bits of working like that, uh, working with the indices, because uh, it's difficult enough to keep track of if you're trying to do everything in your head. Then for the denominator, we're going to have 1 times 1. We've got 1 times m uh, the minus e to the minus i2 theta, and then 1 times the minus e to the minus 2 theta, e to the i2 theta. So, um, let's write that in. So, we're going to have, I've got the 1, then I've got the minus e to the minus i2 theta, and I've got the take away e to the i2 theta, and then I've got that term times that term, and so that'll be plus 1. Okay, right. So let's see what we've got. So we've got uh, e to the i theta take away e to the minus i theta. Okay. Um, now, if we return up here, you'll remember that we've got sine of theta is 1 over 2i e to the i theta take away e to the minus i theta. So therefore, e to the i theta take away e to the minus i theta must be 2i 
sine theta. So I can replace that with 2i sine theta. OK, then I've got this term here. Now, that I'm going to write as take away, and I'm going to open up the bracket, and I'm going to have cosine of 2n plus 1 theta plus i sine of 2n plus 1 theta. OK. Then I've got this term, so opening up the bracket, cosine of 2n minus 1 theta plus i sine of 2n minus 1 theta. OK. Now in the denominator, we have 1 plus 1, so 2. And then we have this. So this e to the i2 theta take away e to the minus i2 theta. So let's take a look at that. So we have e to the i theta. So I've got the minus sign. OK, so I'm going to factor out the minus sign and have plus e to the minus i, oh sorry, 2 theta rather, 2 theta. So that is that bit there. OK. Now, if we take a look at this with the plus, this would have to be minus 2 cosine of 2 theta. So because we've got 2 theta here, that needs to become 2 theta. So that would have to be 2 theta. And multiplying through by 2 as well to get rid of the fraction. So we've got minus 2 cosine 2 theta. Now, have we got to where we need to be? Because we need to show these two statements here. Now, the capital C here is the real part, so the real part of C plus IS. Now, the real part of C plus IS, well, that's not real. We've got that piece there, so minus cosine of 2n plus 1 times theta. And then we've got that part there, so plus cosine of 2n minus 1 theta. OK, so they're the real parts of the numerator over 2 take away 2 cosine 2 theta. And that is precisely what I've got there. So all good so far. And the imaginary part of C plus IS is going to be the 2 sine theta that I've got there. We've got take away this bit here. So take away sine of 2n plus 1 theta. So that bit. And then we've got plus that bit. So plus sine of 2n minus 1 theta all over the denominator 2 take away 2 cosine 2 theta. OK, and so that is what we wanted to show.